All right, this is the story behind Narby, what Ski Magazine called Ski Film of the Year. Hi, I'm Narby. Woo! I'm the best skier on the mountain. It all started when Squaw Valley posted on their Instagram promoting spring skiing with a competition. All you had to do was to tag your photos or videos with hashtag spring skiing capital which seemed easy enough, and the prizes were pretty cool. But there was two prizes that I really wanted. One was a GoPro Hero 9. My GoPro broke last year when my buddy Ethan broke it in a mountain biking crash. He was fine, my GoPro was not. The second prize that I really want is an Icon Season Pass. So the Icon Pass is one of the biggest passes in the US, and it's the pass to Squaw Valley, uh, where I currently have a pass to, and I'll be buying this pass whether I win it or not. So I decided I was gonna win this contest. I sat down and I made a list of a bunch of different ideas. Some were better than others. The one that I kept coming back to was Narby, a vintage ski Barbie playing the game of Nar. For those of you who don't know, Nar is a game that was invented by Shane McConkey. Rob and Scott Gaffney while skiing at Squaw. Basically, you get points for skiing certain lines around the mountain, and the harder the line, the more points you get. But there's also this sort of boisterous culture around it that you get points for things uh, that are a little more outlandish, like telling a stranger that you're the best skier on the mountain or skiing a line butt naked. Narby didn't do the latter. The game was first documented in Rob Gaffney's book, Squallywood, and there's a movie called Nar that tells the story of the game. Uh, which I recommend you check out. They'll put the link in the description. Anyways, this Narby idea, how cool would it be to see like this prim and proper vintage Barbie just like absolutely ripping. So step one was finding Barbie. There are several ski Barbies that have come out through the years. I was really drawn to 1994 Winter Sport Barbie. Her whole like outfit fit this like retro spring skiing vibe. So I went on eBay and I bought a 1994 Winter Sport Barbie. They make Winter Sport Kin and Winter Sport Midge but uh, I thought spending an extra hundred dollars was a bit much, so uh, Narby's gonna go solo. Next, we went to the hardware store. Because she's a doll, I knew that we had to have some movement um, to make her feel like she's skiing, make her feel alive, make her, make her fun, right? She doesn't move a lot. So we got Narby all rigged up. We got a shot list, we had a plan, and we went to the mountain. And it was a huge failure. Oh, this is not working. Narby wouldn't stay in her skis. Her boots kept popping off of her skis and then her skis kept popping off of our metal contraption. Uh, we packed up, we headed home. So while Jenna worked on the rig, uh, I took Narby out in the yard and set up our jump scene. I would position Narby's body into different, you know, popular jumping positions. You know, we had her like back flipping. She did this like, she did a sick grab. I had a lot of fun. I set up the camera and we put it in slow motion so we can get more out of these, these shots and framed it just in the sky so you can't really tell what her takeoff and landing is. And then I'd, I'd flip her uh, or spin her or make her jump um, across the frame and then go back and check it and then do it again, go back and check it. I easily threw her in the air over a hundred times, but it looked cool. So that night when I got back inside from flipping Narby around in the yard, creeping out the neighbors a little bit, Jenna had come up with a solution which was brilliant and she put little clear rubber bands on Narby's boots. Now rubber banded into her skis, so she's not really going anywhere. And then we also rubber banded her onto our metal rig and we just had her skis poking off the tip of the metal rig we were able to go out and try it again. And it worked. It was awesome. It was a little awkward to be able to snowboard while holding Narby and the camera and checking frame, but she was skiing. She looked like she was skiing and it, that's always a good feeling. <laughs> when you go and you try something and it looks how you want. One of my biggest fears with doing this like behind the scenes video is that I show myself snowboarding and I actually don't ski. Pretty much only snowboard and I'm terrible at skiing, though I'm working on it. I thought I was gonna show this behind the scenes video and people would be like, poser. Um, and they might, I don't know. So after getting our moving shots of her skiing, we headed to some of the more iconic squad locations that we knew people were going to recognize. Before getting into editing, I watched every Barbie commercial from the 80s and 90s to get some inspiration. You know, this didn't end up being exactly like a toy commercial, 
but it definitely drew some sort of 90s, 90s toy vibes. The final touch was Jenna uh, voicing Narby in the living room, uh, which she absolutely crushed. So then it was done and I uploaded it. And I used hashtag spring skiing capital and I did not see the response coming. People who were into this ski culture just really liked Narby. I think it really tapped into, you know, the way they live their life. There were hundreds of comments tagging their friends and saying, this is you. Ski Magazine even shared it and called it the ski film of the year. When we went back to squad to take some more photos with her, she was recognized like a celebrity. Is that the Narby? Is that the real Narby? Is that the Narby from the video? Even Squaw Valley's Ski Patrol wanted to get a photo with her. So in the end, I did win the weekly prize of GoPro Hero 9, which is pretty cool. The grand prize of the Icon Pass hasn't been decided yet, but the, the response that we got and the connections that I've made from this Narby project are so much cooler than any of these prizes could have been. And who knows where this might lead? I've wanted to do more action sports content uh, for a while, and maybe this is a step in that direction. Or maybe Narby gets to go to a bunch of different mountains next year and do a series. What would you want to see? Here's the cheesy YouTube part. So whatever comes next, make sure you don't miss it by subscribing to this YouTube channel. I know that's annoying to hear. I get annoyed when I hear that also. But I'm trying to start out this channel and I'm trying to make more content like Narby. And uh, to be a like YouTube creator, you have to have a thousand followers and at least 4,000 hours of watched content. And I am not close to either of those things. Um, so if you could help me out and give me a follow, I would really appreciate it. Surprisingly, there's still enough snow at the mountain. So I'm gonna go get some runs in and I'll catch you on the next one.